In the Ward Brothers workshop, we discover the story of Lemuel and Stephen Ward of Crisfield, Maryland. The Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art is dedicated to promoting wildfowl art and preserving the legacy of these Eastern Shore decoy carvers. The sons of L. Travis Ward, Lem and Steve as they were better known, were barbers by trade like their father, carving decoys in the downtime between customers. Their first few birds were made strictly for their own use in the 1910s, but as their skills and reputation developed, they developed a regular customer base. By around 1930, the Ward brothers had established a general pattern for producing large numbers of decoys for hunting clubs and gunning rigs for individual hunters. Steve usually carved the birds using their original patterns. Lem, a perfectionist with the brush, usually took the duty of painting them, although both brothers performed both tasks at times. As local residents turned to waterfowling for food and guided sport gunning parties for income during the Great Depression, the demand for quality decoys rose, and the brothers turned out thousands of birds between 1930 and 1959. The brothers' carvings caught the attention of collectors in the late 1940s. A friend of Lem's convinced him to enter some of their decoys into the National Decoy Makers Contest in New York City. There they won every category they entered. Their decoys were particularly lifelike, with unique expressions and unusual poses. They examined the colorations of dead birds, watched birds in the wild, and studied images in books. By the late 1940s, Lem, who had always enjoyed experimenting, began to create more and more decorative pieces. As plastics and mass production threatened the market for hand-carved decoys in the 1950s, these decorative birds became their livelihood. Around 1965, the barbershop closed its doors, and the pair reopened their business as L.T. Ward and Brother, wildfowl counterfeiters in wood. The wood preferred by the brothers was white cedar, but they often used red cedar they salvaged from old telephone poles. After World War II, they began using balsa wood that came from Navy life rafts left over from the war. Later in his career, Lem used basswood or linden wood for many of his decorative carvings. Although both Ward brothers had only an elementary education, they often recited poetry together and occasionally added their own verses to their patterns or to the bottoms of their decoys. Lem also took up two-dimensional painting. Both brothers were active members of a barbershop quartet. Although they achieved national recognition through features in National Geographic and other publications, the brothers remain rooted to their small community for their entire lives. As the collector value of their decoys rose, they resisted raising their prices to avoid alienating their local customers. They carved and painted wildfowl together until Steve died in 1976. Lem continued to work until his eyesight became so poor that he was forced to stop. Lem won the National Endowment for the Arts 1983 National Heritage Fellowship Award before his death in 1984. The Ward Foundation was established by Friends of the Pair to preserve their legacy. A museum, now known as the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art and affiliated with Salisbury University, preserves many of the Ward brothers' carvings, poems, and paintings, as well as an extensive collection of other antique decoys and contemporary carvings. The Ward Foundation also sponsors the annual Ward World Championship Wildfowl Carving Competition held each spring in Ocean City, Maryland. The Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art is a membership-based organization. To become a member, please visit the museum store. Mention the words Lem and Steve for discount on one item in the museum store.